Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today on Planet Base we are uh, we are hopefully going to be able to resolve some issues here. Uh, people are very unhappy. Massively unhappy. No food, no nothing. Electricity is bare to say the least. Um, I am kind of tempted to remove this and drop this down to a smaller one. Just that way we'll have extra supplies for other things which may help us out because um, then we could upgrade this which is something we kind of need because none of the botanists are actually working or anything right now all right so let's get that uploaded because then people can actually go to sleep no one's injured everyone's just very hungry but then no one no none of the botanists are working on the thingy so we're not actually yeah this is a problem I think when this runs out tonight, then we will destroy this and make a small one. I think that might be the best thing to do. Yeah, because we've run out of food completely. And people are going to die from malnutrition if they don't get that sorted. Like right, so this, this here, priority. Whatever you do, prioritize this. And people are still sleeping here because I've only got two beds, that's the problem. I've got one worker, but they're not processing anything because they're too hungry. Yeah, so malnutrition does that they, they, they can do like a little bit at a time and then that's it. This is the stuff we need growing. Otherwise, we're just going to die from this. Like we're draining food like nobody's business. Someone else died of starvation. Who? It wasn't a worker, was it? Where are they? We don't have four, we had six a second ago. One worker, no biologists. Oh, we're dead then. Right, let's restart this then and redo that from the beginning then. Wow, okay. Uh, menu. We're gonna have to make a new one, guys. Okay, so let's just do that. Right, let's go for a new hope. Let's do this smart this time, shall we? That looks about right, let's do that. So hopefully... Right, this looks like a nice open area, which is good. It's exactly what we need. Okay, so the unloading now. Right, because this time we don't have a constructor bot, so all our people have to do it. That's the thing we've got to remember this time. Like, I'm so used to having, like, three workers uh, and, like, a constructor bot as well. Wow, so this is a nice large area for us to work with. Okay, so I'm thinking over here then. Let's start with that then, shall we? So we want that there. Let's get... No, I don't want O2. Let's get an airlock. like that then we instantly want power supplies don't we all right so set a panel off the side like we could have all this as our power no because then it's not protected is it hmm, that's the thing we've got to worry about like making sure things are protected. But to be honest, we could put our own dedicated laser system over there. What did I just put down? Small power, solar. Um, water. Water's critical. It's a desperate need. Um, they're building that. So let's get a canteen in.
There we go, that can go in there. Um, so they're all building that, which is nice. So we need wind as well. Let's get a bigger one of that just because I think we're going to need wind on this planet a little bit more than the rest. Um, I think wind works on this one a bit better. There we go, that goes there. So we should be collecting power now. Good. This is now producing O2. Right, let's drop that down then. Right, so that's that. We need a biodome straight away. Which can connect to that, which is nice. And then from the biodome, I'm thinking we need a dorm. So I'm thinking a dorm over this way, because this is like a dead end area over here anyway. Um, and if we're going to stick power things over here, we can stick the medical room over here, can't we really? Now that's a good functional area there, because then we've still got enough area that land that we can expand power and stuff packs over there. Um, and then still enough places for our base to expand all the way over here. So I, I think that's actually quite a good idea to have. So at the moment, as a pre-base, this is quite nice. So we're collecting, sort of, you're doing 15. You're doing 15, so that it's kind of working. Let's speed this up, shall we? So for this, we definitely need one of these in. We definitely need that. Uh, we definitely need a drinking fountain. Like those are our main priorities. Uh, biodome, we definitely need a pee pad, some potatoes medical and some tomatoes i think that's that sounds reasonable dorm two beds i'm thinking like there's only like six of them so four beds should be okay for them all like they shouldn't have a massive problem with that and again you have one medical bed um, you don't really need a locker right now. You can go outside and collect that. That's not that desperate of a situation. So they've got water. That is perfectly fine with me. Everything's done. Um, I just wish they could collect this sort of stuff and move it away. Because then I could put like a, a hub in there for it. Um, what am I missing now? I do actually need a processing room. Which would be good to have. Um, and then maybe a storage room. I don't know if we could fit something in the middle. So survival has been reached. What's survival mean then? After day of landing, your people are still alive. Wow, nice. Thanks for your confidence. <laughs> um... At least we know we can survive on this planet, guys. Uh, why are you thirsty? I, I've given you water supplies. Uh, power is generating backup. That's nice. Bunk's been built. People can now go to sleep. Right. Is this processing? Right, so you need at least one of those and at least one of those. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere on this planet. Um... And maybe, where's, where's, should we get the supplies in? Or am I thinking, am I getting too far ahead of myself? So we've got an airlock, O2, we've got a canteen, we've got a dorm, we've got a biodome, a processing plant. Don't need a factory or a multi-dome. Maybe storage though, even if it's a small one. Because we can put it there. And then maybe something small in the middle. Actually, how much resources do I have left? Not a lot, but it would save them time going outside all the time. I've now apparently reached self-sufficiency. So that's good then. We, uh, we can't die without really screwing up right now, so that's pretty good. So I can live with that. Um, so three people are in bed. 
These guys are helping out build this. We've got two vegetables, guys. We're actually producing veg and starch. So this should be good. Um, and you're actually putting the iron in there straight away. So we've got two sets of ores. That's good already. Like, we are achieving something that last time we didn't. Uh, we are sort of self-sufficient. We, I think I'm gonna leave those there until we like critically need something. Like at the moment, we're going through a lot of power. So maybe more power infrastructures, uh, a better battery charger maybe, would be pretty decent. Um, yeah, this is just storage. This just does its own little thing, doesn't it? So these guys should be just collecting all this now. Priority seems to be food for them, which is good. Priority should always be food. This is all good. If they're clearing out this area, I could put something else in here, which is good. Possibly put another one of these in because this is going to be a crucial thing. And power seems to be doing nicely, which is good. And you're producing almost all to your efficiency. You are producing to your efficiency, so I might actually have to get another solar panel in. I'm thinking another collector if this one fills back up again. Yeah, we are about halfway through the day and we have almost filled up that. So I'm thinking, let's get another collector in. Because that's now full. So that's things we could do with, really. Because uh, currently we're wasting power because it's not being collected by anything. Um, so that might get a little bit of power. No, we start to drain, haven't we? No? Oh, it's because it hasn't built the connector yet. It's still pending. Yeah, we could have been collect. We're still producing more than we're using. Right now, we're just about to go into... Yeah, there we go. We're now starting to take away... Because this is actually producing quite nicely. So I might actually look at making another wind turbine. I've got eight free. How are we doing on water? Consumes 2.25, that's okay then. So we don't need to fill up or anything right now, that seems to be working quite well. And that is quite nice. Um, oh, you need to be worked on. Don't die. I need you not to die. Wow, this, this is running very slowly down that is nice look we're actually generating power our base is like using no power at all this is nice we currently have 10 food and six vegetables wow look at that guys we're actually making more meals at the moment than we actually need and we're making even more meals look at that we've got 13 meals well, that is awesome. You're taking a meal, you're going to go eat it? Yes, you are. So this is good. We are actually on track. I think it's because we haven't overdone ourselves. Um, I think I did overreach a little bit with some of the stocks. Um, yeah. Like, I think I was still thinking it was like the first level where everything would have been easy. Um, and we didn't really have to think about it too much and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, look, we've got five ore, we've got five starch. Like, we're, we're, we're regaining stuff here right now. Things are happening and is good. We could actually really think about, can we get a landing pad? We can for four. We can get some more people in here. We have more people, that means we can develop because I think we need that ability before people start dying or at least we have that choice just in case people start dying. Um, Traders, I don't really think we have much reason for until we get ourselves like highly efficient this time because they kept landing and there was really no point for them to be there. Um, you've got a traumatic injury. So that's one thing I think I will need to start looking at producing 
medical supplies and spares, because we start running low on spares, we're screwed for that as well. Um, yeah, because if we run out of spares for crucial things, then they're just going to break, and then we might not actually be able to fix them. Which would be a problem. It would be a massive problem, actually. So we've currently got 1,900 in reserve. And we're going through this one pretty quickly tonight, because you're only running at half efficiency. But to be honest, even at half efficiency, if, even if I built another one of those, we would still be powering this whole place. Which I think is a good idea. You guys shouldn't be working on anything else but getting these supplies up in here. Come on. <laughs> like they're good, good. Oh, so these do degrade. Ah, oh, I think unless they're kept in a in a a storage unit, they degrade. Oh, that's not good. What's this? High durability. This resource will last longer than than before disintegrating. That one won't. That one will. Oh, so these will all degrade. Oh, okay. That's not good. What about food? No, no, they last longer than normal. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so some of this stuff just degrades then, which is something we've got to look out for then. I didn't. I knew they had thingy, but I didn't know like they degraded that quickly. We've got lots of veg. That's degrading, just sitting there. Like we just we're seeing it drop right now. Is that because we don't have enough places to? Yeah, we don't. Okay. Um. We need to build another meal maker. Like that could be a crucial system, because if that breaks down, then we're pretty screwed. Um, because then we would have just lost resources that we could have been using to make meals. Pow, we didn't fill up at all during the day. We're depleting those resources like nobody's business. Oh, we are literally producing nothing right now. We're producing one. And this is about to crash as well. Very low power. Very low power, guys. Whole base is shut down. It's just... It's, it's just happening like the last time. We're losing all the power. Like, it's giving us eight... Like, nothing's working right now. Alright, let's close down the med bay. We don't need the med bay right now. Alright, so we've got water back online. Power is still a critical system. So maybe a large solar panel would be pretty good. Should we go for the next one size up? Use four of that, get another wind turbine in as well, because power is basically the crucial thing from this. I swear I just saw one line up over here. Yeah, there it was. Okay, if I do that. Yeah, because we critically need power. I think that would be all of our... All of our all gone as well. We still have, Do we have vegetables still lying around somewhere? Apparently there's vegetables lying around somewhere, but I don't, unless they're in here. Yeah, we've got two in there, one in there. Okay, that's fair enough. I can I can happily have that. Right, so we've got two wind turbines kicking up a steam, so that's 29 powering at the moment. We're using currently 51. So let's turn this back on, see what we're actually going to be fully using. So that's 71 with that infirmary on. So we need to be producing a whopping great amount of power and of course the solar panel was just about to be built when we just about finished so guys before we get into another power cut situation 
Um, I think we're going to leave it there. So we are slowly improving, which is nice. Um, we've only had one power cut so far. Uh, we could possibly be going into a second power cut, but if I shut down our med wing, um, we should be able to hold out a little bit longer. Like that is draining a lot of power though. And of course we're out of the wind. Oh no, wind's picking back up again. So that's fine, we should be generating some power. Yeah, we're almost on the brink of producing more than we're using, which is nice. And we've got a bigger solar panel. So yeah, guys, if you did like this, I'm sorry it's been a bit of a disaster today, but uh, hey, we're on a learning curve. So if you did like this, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, then please do subscribe. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.